Pisces, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawes and welcome to Jen TV. All right, Pisces. What do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my love sees a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. If it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase individual videos via my website, gentvtarot.com. Or if you join my channel, each has its own perks. The best price would probably be from Patreon, though. What do you need to know about that? We've got some endings and beginnings here. Let's have a look at this. A new beginning. The overall vibe is that something new has begun because of a heartbreak. Um, what you need to know right now, so you've had your new beginning. Could possibly be, well, look at this, Ten of Cups. Cups are about emotions. This freaking rainbow is coming out of the cup. It's a good card. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Why is this here for what you need to know right now? Oh. Yeah, no. No, Pisces, no. New beginning. You've had your heart broken. Oh, look, a brand new beginning. Yay. Mm, no. You're trying to fill a void here. And, uh... It's not going to make you happy. It's not going to make them happy. It's like a rebound. So take this how it resonates. It could be you on the rebound. It could be them on the rebound. Um, like that does feel actually like the story. But again, let's take it how it resonates. I feel like you got into a, a relationship with somebody who um, has just left a relationship and uh, it felt great to you for a minute there, but they are still rebounding from the past relationship. They're not ready. They're, uh, I think uh, in the literal sense, yep, yeah, they're free and single. If they were married, they're not anymore. It's like I'm seeing their point of view is that you are filling a void that they've got here, but they're not ready. Um, I'm getting that from these two cards. It's great. It's awesome. They're having a good time with you, but they're not ready. What's coming up in the near future? This is going to end between you and this person. Because, yeah. Because there's a lot of confusion. I sort of got a feeling that they're still testing the water with other people. I think they're very fond of you, but I think you've gone all in like, yay, new relationship. They're free now so we can be together. But I think that they're still testing the water with other people. And you kind of got to give them this time. I think they've been in a relationship for a long time and they need to feel free again. Uh, to make their own decisions, but I, I just I just 
I don't think this is the person for you. I think it's been nice recently, but it's it's you're starting to see the distance between you now. And that's because this was a rebound. I think the best you can hope for is like this is about avoiding conflict and, and the word I'm picking up here is avoidance. I think that they're they'd rather avoid you and the situation with you than deal with it because they've got this going on. This This is you. Nine of Wands in reverse. This has happened because you're not respecting your boundaries. I'm sorry, don't shoot the messenger. You're not respecting your boundaries in the sense that you sort of perhaps maybe had a feeling already that this person wasn't quite ready for a relationship, but you kind of wanted to rush it anyway. And What are your boundaries? You know, you don't want to be with someone who's not ready for you. You don't want to be ignored. You don't want to be ghosted, pushed to the side. You don't want any of those things. So, you know, you kind of ignored all of those boundaries of yours and got into this situation knowing full well that there was a possibility it was going to happen because they weren't ready. I think that this is done and this is over in the, in the near future, it's going to end. I think that they are probably always going to think fondly of you because you kind of helped them through a difficult time. But I see you sort of cutting them out finally and saying, no, no, this isn't for me. Resetting your boundaries and meaning them this time. I'm going to take this into the extended where I'm going to ask about them for you. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? But let's just read this queen here right now. Why is this queen here in the outcome? Queen of Swords. That's all. It makes a lot of sense to me. It's all you know, teaching you about what you want, what you're ready for, what you're willing to accept in a relationship. You're not willing to accept to be the, being the third wheel. So, time to take a step back, reset your boundaries, mean them this time and not get into another situation where you're kind of like, ooh, there's a few red flags waving wildly there. I'll go a little bit deeper into this reading in the extended. What do you need to release? Let's go over that in the extended. And your love lick of the day. Good enough by me. You have me now and all my baggage I've been made to feel less than worthy I want to turn that around and believe in love But I don't feel good enough I think that's probably where they're at, you know They want to feel like they're good enough but they're also not ready to settle down again. See you later.